In this clip, Uncle Bob talks about one of the most important signs of a well-written function, and how it directly impacts your development speed. Render page with setups and teardowns. If it's a test page, include the setups and teardowns. Convert it to HTML. It takes you no time to understand this function. This function is polite. Why is it polite? What do I mean by polite? So, has anybody studied journalism here? You know how to write a paper? The rules for writing an article or writing a paper are very, very simple. You start with the title, the headline, the title, right? Then you have a paragraph, usually called the synopsis or the abstract. It's usually one paragraph and it describes everything in the, in the paper, in high level terms. And then the next paragraph down is slightly more detailed. And the paragraph after that is a little more detailed than that. And as you read downwards, the detail increases until you get to the bottom where there's all the names and dates and guilty parties and everything like that. This is polite. It's polite because of what it allows the reader to do. It allows the reader to escape early. What is your algorithm for reading the news? You get an, a web page up with the news. How do you read it? Well, you scan it for a headline that you think is interesting. Okay, if that headline's interesting, I'll read the first paragraph. You read the first paragraph. If it's still interesting, you read the second paragraph. If it's still interesting, you read the third paragraph. If it's still interesting, you read the fourth paragraph. Notice the while loop here. And you exit that while loop as soon as you get bored. That's how you read everything in the news. Nobody ever reads the whole article. You just read until you're bored and then you get out. This is polite. It is polite to allow the reader to exit early. And this allows you to exit early. If you were some guy and you saw a call to that function, render page with setups and teardowns, and you said, gee, I wonder what that function does. And then you went here. Within three seconds, you know what this function does at a very high level, not at a detailed level. But maybe you didn't want to know it at a detailed level. Maybe you just wanted to know, oh yeah, okay, if it's a test page, it includes setups and teardowns, okay. And you get out early. There was no way to get out early from this code. The only way to get out of this code at all is to understand it all completely, including all the dots. And it would have taken you 30 minutes. 30 minutes you would have been pouring over this code, wondering what the devil is this guy doing? Why is he doing it this way? What's good? And at the end of that 30 minutes, you would have finally gone, oh, if it's a test page, he's including the setups and teardowns. Why the hell didn't he say that? In interface design, one sign of a good UI is that first-time users can make meaningful progress quickly without needing to read a manual, and then gradually learn the deeper functionality as they become more comfortable. The same idea applies in code, only here, the interface is the structure of the code base itself, and usability in this context means how quickly can a developer, even one unfamiliar with this component, become effective in the code. And that comes down to how you write your functions, specifically, writing them in a way that doesn't bounce back between high and low level concerns within the span of a few lines. Because when you keep the levels of abstraction consistent, you allow developers to treat the parts they don't care about as a black box. They can focus on what matters, ignore what doesn't, which reduces cognitive load, reduces wasted time, and that means faster results. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.